So I make mine nice and juicy. That's gross. This is a juicy cake. <laughs> Today I am going to be making a tres leches cake for you. This is one of the first recipes I ever like officially wrote down because so many people were asking me how I made it. So now I have a concrete recipe of how I do it every single time. I have made this more times than I can count. I have made this for birthday parties. I've made this for like church events, family events. I actually made four of them for a wedding a while back and that was kind of exciting because I never made cakes for a wedding. Not that it's that fancy, it's still the regular easy way that I always did it. That's exactly how they wanted it. They didn't want anything fancy. They just love the cake so much that they wanted it at their weddings. It is so easy. All you use is a boxed cake mix. This is past all we'll set just quickly preparing this box cake mix. And super easy, just like the package instructs. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the milk part and just how to like finish it off. Let me show you how it's done. Let's get started on the milk part. So easy, everything I need is right here. I put the condensed milk in first. Because it's the thickest, it's easier if you put this one in first, it's easier to mix it in. So next, I'm gonna use the evaporated milk. I'm gonna give this a stir. If you'll notice, I'm putting this in a large measuring cup. But the reason I'm doing that is because I'm actually not measuring anything, but I want all my milks to equal four cups. So that way, if I'm ever doing any milk substitutions, I don't have to think about like, how much of this kind if I substitute it for this one or whatever. Like, if you don't have evaporated milk, maybe you wanna add coconut milk instead. I just make sure that I always have four cups of milk in the cake how it works out is that this I don't know if you can see it there on camera I don't think so but this is a four cup measuring so this brings it to almost three cups so you're basically doing about a cup of milk this is I just have this kind of two percent milk you could use whole milk or whatever I think the condensed milk is probably the most important milk to include that makes the difference in the taste um, other than that you could substitute the regular milk or the evaporated milk for coconut milk if you do coconut. But this is great, if you have a coconut allergy, this has no coconut. Um, we actually came up with this because my mom wasn't able to do coconut for a little while there. She was having a, she was having a reaction to coconut. So we found this imitation coconut extract and this gives it a nice coconut taste without um, causing any issues to anybody who has allergies. Why don't I not measure it over the mixing thing like I always do? This coconut extract is really powerful. So you only need a half a teaspoon. That is optional if you don't like coconut. And then I'm gonna do one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then I'm just giving this a stir. That part is done. Next, um, you just have to poke holes in your cake. I use a straw. And you just wanna make sure that there's plenty of holes so the milk can really get into that cake and kind of almost become like one with the cake. If you've ever made like jello cake or a pudding cake that has like the poke, it's basically the same idea, but the milk becomes even more one with the cake than jello or pudding do. Almost like French toast kind of. And it doesn't taste anything like French toast, but like, you know what I mean, right? That looks good to me. We are going to pour the, all of the milk on top of the cake. It might look like a lot, but trust me, it'll get all nice and absorbed. Four cups is just perfect, in my opinion. So that's it. And then I just use the whipped topping. I'm about not dirtying a million dishes, so same spatula. Let's go. Okay, that's it. It's finished. It is that easy. The hardest part about this cake is waiting for it to be refrigerated overnight. Other than that, it is so simple and it is worth the wait for sure. I'm not gonna taste it today because I'm actually taking this to a dinner thing we have. Hopefully I remember to take a picture to put up here for you to see of the cut piece. 
I hope you guys try this recipe. If you're looking for other easy recipes, I'm gonna link my playlist for you of easy recipes. And if you enjoyed this video and you like videos like this, trying out new recipes, tasty new foods, and learning tried and true recipes from me, I hope you subscribe to keep watching. Have a great day. Don't ask why some eggshells are white and some are brown. <laughs> Hey, don't throw the stuff away in the straw. It's like so delicious. I don't know why, but the cake in the straw, so good. I literally could like make it in my sleep. Literally could make it in my sleep. No, I literally could not do that.